Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We have been talking about a lot of different new features which has been introduced uh, into Tosca. So let's move on and uh, let's discuss about our next feature. Now, this particular feature uh, is all about uh, the AI capabilities which Tosca has now integrated into its latest version. So this uh, is a AI powered assistant, uh, which now Tosca has integrated, and this is known as the Tosca Copilot. So it is a generative AI powered assistant, which uh, helps you to find, understand, and optimize uh, any of your test assets uh, within your uh, Tosca workspace. And all of this can be done uh, via a chat interface. Now, uh, this particular AI powered assistant uses advanced large language models, which is known as LLM. And it helps you uh, to use Tosca in a more efficient and productive way uh, in all phases of your test automation. So it's a very powerful uh, AI assistant uh, and uh, it has been recently integrated uh, into the latest version of Tosca, which is Tosca 2024. So it will be available uh, like any other feature within Tosca. Previously, uh, we had to download this uh, separately and then install it in order to use this particular feature. But now it comes as a integration with the tool itself. So let's look at what this AI assistant can do for us. So using this copilot, we can create search strings using TQL, okay? And uh, this uh, TQL query then can be used for a number of different purposes. It can be used to um, create a report or it could be used to just uh, give us some results back, right? So uh, we already know how TQL works, but previously we used to uh, generate this SQL queries, uh, which could be complex sometimes. So in order to make it more easier, now you can use uh, Copilot and you can just uh, type your query in a simple language and then uh, it will be able to convert it into a TQL query. Now the next thing which uh, this Copilot can do is uh, it can provide you an explanation of what a specific test case does. OK, so you don't need to go into the test case and look at the test steps or modules uh, in order to figure out what this test case does. But you can just ask the copilot and uh, it will provide you a brief explanation of uh, what this test case is all about. Then um, you can also use the copilot to get result insights for a specific execution list. Now, again, you don't need to go through the logs to find out uh, what has been done in this execution list or what passed, what failed, right? So you can just ask Copilot and it will give you the required insights. Now, apart from all of these uh, features, uh, it can also help you with uh, different everyday tasks which you perform with Tosca. Now it could be uh, you can ask a specific module or a specific feature of Tosca where uh, it is present and it will show you um, how to open that particular uh, module or how to open that particular feature. It can also help you uh, understand why uh, you cannot use a particular character uh, in your tests uh, or a particular string, right? So anything, uh, which helps you to understand why it is not working in Tosca when you are trying to do it. And then it can also help you uh, with several complex uh, expressions. So any dynamic expression which uh, you want to use uh, maybe for a date or a specific format, anything uh, related to the expressions, it can uh, help you uh, building those expressions uh, in Tosca. So there are a lot of things which uh, you can do uh, with this Copilot and uh, it is being developed slowly, uh, getting all the features into this Copilot so that uh, your tasks could be much easier uh, while working with Tosca. Now let's um, have a look at uh, how we can set and start this Copilot and how does it look like. 
Now, as I said earlier, uh, you need to have the latest version of Tosca, which is 2024 and above, if you want to use it as an integrated feature. But if you have the older versions of Tosca, you can still use it, but then uh, you will need to download it and install it separately. Okay, so let me go ahead and open our workspace, which uh, we have been using, and uh, then we will see how uh, we can set up the copilot. Now, another requirement for this co-pilot to work is a valid Tosca Cloud license. Okay, so we have already seen how we can uh, log in into the Tosca Cloud instance, uh, but you need to have a login so that you can log in into Tosca Cloud. And then you also need a separate license for co-pilot. So you will have to start uh, that particular license for using co-pilot. Okay. So to access Copilot, uh, you can go to add-on and here you will find a section for Tosca Copilot in Tosca, right? So uh, if you click on this, uh, then it will open a window for Tosca Copilot. Uh, it will tell that it is redirecting. And then, as I said, uh, you need a valid account uh, in Tosca Cloud. So this is my login. I will uh, go ahead and validate this. Okay, now um, it will redirect me here where it is telling that I can start a 14 day trial of Tosca Copilot. As I said, uh, it has its own license. So you have to either buy it or you can try it and then decide if you want to go ahead with this particular license. So I will take the uh, trial license for this Copilot. Okay, and uh, this is where it goes. And then uh, I can go ahead and explore the Copilot. Uh, so let me complete this setup. Okay, so it is asking me to uh, update the Copilot to its latest version. Uh, I can do it later, but this is how uh, the Copilot looks like. Now, what this Copilot could do, well, it can explain the test case, uh, it can get execution insights, it can convert uh, natural language to TQL. And then you can ask anything about Tosca, right? So let's um, try some prompts which are displayed here, okay? So I can start with uh, what is scanning. So it looks very similar to any other um, AI application. Uh, you might have already worked with ChatGPT and this is very, something very similar, but then uh, it is very much integrated with um, your Tosca automation tool, right? So it'll give you an explanation and then some references, uh, which could be useful. So this is how you can uh, set up your Tosca Copilot and then start using um, the capabilities which it provides. Uh, we will have a look at all the other capabilities, uh, specifically uh, the three capabilities which we talked about. So uh, we'll talk each of this capability uh, in the coming up sessions. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.